the policy that was set forth by the U.S. Track and Field Committee, which followed what the U.S. International, I'm sorry, the International Olympic Committee also set forth as to what to do with transgendered athletes. So they have if you identify, let's say you're born a man, but you identify as a woman and you qualify as a woman, then you're able to compete as a woman, ask for you to present a government ID. So it's what you identify as, not necessarily what you're born as. And where this issue gets a little bit more complicated and will get more complicated as time goes on is that states now are starting to say that people have the choice of being considered non-binary and checking that off on their government IDs. So if you have okay. 1.4 million people now in this country identifying as transgendered, and transgender is an umbrella term for many things that fall under it, and then you start issuing, states start issuing government IDs where people no, can choose No, I get it. I get it. So there are no rules.